told yeah. you. He even told us how much it cost, too. Yeah, and he was like crying up there, man. How much did it, wait, how much did it cost? Whoever's dick, I gotta suck, I'll do it, whatever. <sighs> Give me that kind of party. I stick my <laughs> dick in the mashed potatoes. Yeah, like he was up in space, man. He's like fucking crying and shit. Like, God damn, man, you're fucking William Shatner. Quit crying. It's embarrassing. You're Captain Kirk. You, <laughs> Captain <laughs> Kirk, don't cry. <laughs> You've been in space before, bro. You've lived up there. <laughs> yeah, with Spock and fucking McCoy and all those motherfuckers. <laughs> mm. All right, so we're just going to ask you a bunch of random questions. Talk about your life before, during, and after the marine corps cool and uh so before we get started i, I want to get the word out uh, i was contacted by pulte homes and uh they're doing a mortgage free home for a veteran they already have this guy picked out i think his name is christopher lee and he's in murfreesboro do you know have you heard of christopher, christopher lee? lee sounds familiar sounds familiar yeah so uh he was uh like 30 meters from my ied and uh when it, when it went off, he went blind, deaf, temporarily. He got a sight in his hearing back, but uh, he only has a memory of, like, 20 minutes. So Damn. his wife always has to remind him, like, constantly. So uh, this uh, company. Sounds familiar. This company. Uh, sure does. <laughs> I don't know how they found him. Apparently, Pulte Homes has done about 50 of these homes across the country. And uh, this time they chose Murfreesboro, and they found this guy. And they asked me to be involved with the podcast for one, and I also told them I'm the commander of the VFW. So on November 19th, I'll be there. They're doing a uh, groundbreaking, and they want the streets lined with veterans and flags. So to put the word out on November 19th. I've got to fly back from Hilton Head just to do just to do, just to be there for you, and then I'm going to fly back to the Southern Conference that night. So just one way, and then a one way. So whatever. Uh, I'm also going to talk to my buddies over at the recruiting stations. And yep. get them out there. Yeah, as well. definitely. That would be awesome. If not, yeah. I got to go talk to my old command anyway. So I'll put the word yeah. out with them. So uh, th th we're having another meeting with these people on this Wednesday. So uh, on the twentieth. Yes, I'll have more information. Herbert and I are going to the SVA um, Student Veteran Association. We'll mention that too. Yeah, when yeah, we go. yeah. Spread the word to everybody because I would. So, you know how like remember back in the day they had that TV show where they fixed up somebody's house, but they sent them on vacation, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Move that bus!" And oh, all the yeah. streets were all lined up. I, I think they kind of want to do something like that where they're all, the whole street is lined. And I, we're going to try to get the police, the firemen, all kinds of people there. And I, I want VFW. They're strong. Hell yeah! I've talked to, I've talked to. You were with Commander Walker, the state commander. He'll be he. And he yeah, said he's going to try to make it also. Well, that's the same week of the Southern Conference, so he, he will probably send his senior vice. Yeah, as long as but he'll he'll the Department of Tennessee will yeah. be there. And uh, I want to. I don't have Commander King's number. I, I got wanna, it. I want to call her and uh, get the district there. I want like. We're not recording, are we? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're corn. But oh, I, we are. I, I, you don't I, see the red light over there? Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, that's what that means. You pick them way yeah. too deep, man. Oh, you got to do zero fives, twenty fives, man. What no, I was gonna yeah. say something, but I, I try can't to. Say it. Yeah. New guy over here. You can say I'll edit. I edit it all out. Uh, no, I've I've got Commander King's. So I've got all our what information. You, what you okay. don't know is he takes every bit of conversation that you do. Yes, he does. Out. Zip it I up. know. I never <laughs> hear. My, I never hear myself. today on the Scott Podcast. Hear myself. We're going to be talking about. I, it, it. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up, far. Except when he's telling one of his stupid stories. Which one? <laughs> well, all of them. The which, one that, like which story? Am I what the the first time I got shot at? Yeah, like the, that, that, that one comes up all the time because it's so funny. <laughs> you know, you ask for it every single time. And, it's and, funny to me. And Louis J here, by the way, has heard that story at least a couple times. <laughs> that, that's a that's an understatement, right there. Hey, by the yeah. way, who 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 are you? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Who 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 are you? Why are you here? I am here. To be, uh, I was actually harassed by your co-host, Andrew Farr, for about, what, seven, eight months now yeah. uh, to be on the show. My name is Louis Chablonski. I'm a Marine veteran, staff sergeant Ooh, in the Marines. Ra, I know we should all be standing at attention right now. We should be singing the song. Yes, we should. Now we have to. Now we have now to. Now we have to. Uh, that's fucking bullshit. Spent a little time in the Marine Corps and moved out to Tennessee to be a recruiter on... I did not choose to do that at all. I was voluntold. Voluntold. Yeah, you know, great thing, that green weenie we all have to take a little suck on every now and then. Uh, brought out here and 
met Andrew, became a part of the VFW, uh, 12206. 12206. That's our post. That's our family. That's our home. Our tribe. Our tribe. Yes, sir. And now I'm here on the Scuttlebutt podcast to share my story and a little bit about me and who I am, where I'm from, and what I like to do with my free time besides playing with my ball sack. (laughs) (laughs) Louis J., thank you for coming, brother. Thank you. So you're from California? No, sir. No, sir. I, uh, born and raised, uh, in the mountains of Colorado, uh, I was not born there. I was born in Alamosa down in the San Luis Valley and uh, moved up with my fam, my mom to Leadville, Colorado, spent a little time in Denver, did a lot of really good hunting up there. And then uh, around my freshman year in high school, I decided to go live with my dad in uh, North Dakota. Where did you uh, join the Marine Corps out of? Out of North Dakota, uh, Dickinson, North Dakota. I was Damn. a yep. uh, midget, uh, midget alumni Our our mascot was a midget. Uh, funny, nice. Funny That's... story. Funny story about that. <laughs> One of my best friends, Lowell Riddle. He's a he's a dwarf, a little person. Uh, you got to be politically correct or whatever. Now no, we're not um, laughing at the yeah, any kind person. of airwaves. No, yeah. I love all the little people around me because they're like the vertically right, challenged. They're the right size for the job. Um, <laughs> but he actually was at a fair with us, and his little brother, who was taller than him, which was funny, uh, he actually hit him with his Honda Civic. And he rolled all the way over the car and landed on his feet and walked away like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> so uh, enlisted out of Dickinson, North Dakota, went to MCRD, San Diego. Uh, oh, Hollywood Marines. Hollywood Marine. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Hollywood Marine. God, I please. I didn't have to deal with yeah, those. You know, we nasty... got another Hollywood Marine in our tribe. Here we go. His name is Travis McVeigh. My favorite. Hey, Travis. How are you, buddy? Hmm. Travis, my dude. Hollywood Marine's the Reaper for uh, life. Uh, the, re- uh, the Mount Motherfucker, right? No. The Reaper. Oh, it's called the Reaper. There's a lot okay. of Mount, there's a lot of Mount motherfuckers. Sorry, I hear a lot of rumors because I'm, you know, I'm Paris Island. You're so. also a sand flea marine. Oh my god, the fleas! Oh my I have god, to the, deal fleas. With the fleas! Oh my god, my asthma. Why did you pick the uh, Marine Corps out of the the others? Well, honestly, down deep, I. My dad was an Air Force veteran, so this is where the story kind of takes a turn. Um, he's an Air Force veteran, Vietnam era. He was uh, he did Armed Forces Radio, which is kind of ironic. My dad started the military doing the you know podcast for the that's awesome the Air Force, and yeah. I get to do podcasts after with you guys now. Um, and hopefully, I don't screw it up too bad that I get invited back. But I decided to join the Air Force my senior year of high school. He uh, he was all about it. I was trying to make my dad proud. And then they just kind of kept dicking me around, and I honestly realized I did not want to do that. Um, so I sat down with uh, my recruiter, Sergeant Middlemass, and he told me about the great things the Marine Corps is going to get, all the girls. Yep. And uh, he's like, you're so ugly. I put a set of dress blues on there. You're going to get all the women. And I was like, I'm sold. Like, let's do this. Did it work? It did. I did yes, 10, yes, yes, it did. I yes, did it 10 did. faithful years, and I was going to do my 20, but I got out under false pretenses, but we're all good. So... That's why I joined the Marine Corps was just, it's a family legacy. I got, you know, World War II veterans in my family. Uh, my grandfather, he was a POW twice, held oh, by the man. Nazis. Um, maybe you'll hear that one too. Uh, my grand, my other grandfather, he's a Marine, uh, air traffic controller out of Korea. Uh, he's got a hog's tooth from a guy who I guess he shot in the tower. Nice. He went out he went out and took the round out of his uh, chamber and he kept it. My dad has that. Um and then all every war besides um, the one we're in right now, you know the the political war. Right. Um, there's been a Jablonski or a Lucero in each one of them. Nice. Hell yeah. Damn. So, uh, did you? Uh, how many deployments did you do? Did you do any deployments? I did one. Uh, wanted to do more. Um, I deployed That's April. Kansas, right? Yeah, April fourteenth to uh, October. 9th of 2012 deployed to Southern Helm province. I was supposed to stay out there um, with, I believe it was three, five dark horse. Oh. Um, oh. They needed a, they needed a generator mechanic, which was my MOS. They needed one to stay in the Southern Helm province. Um, and I went all the way up to my battalion colonel, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Klingen and tried to get the authorization to stay for another nine months. And he told me, no, it's your first pump. We've seen too much. Let's go. And I'm sitting there like, we didn't see shit. What are you talking about? Like all they they're not doing anything crazy. It's just getting exciting now. Um, then I got back. I was supposed to go back out for a year. I got screwed out of that deployment because I had to go to uh, 
some seminar bull crap in Camp Pendleton. Um, and then when I got to my third unit, uh, an air trap control detachment, I was supposed to deploy out to the, I call it the spaghetti magtaf. It's called the special purpose magtaf. Uh, got uh, a bunch of dumb uh, they, go, they go on a camping trip, really. Um, and they Snapchat everybody back in the States, like, look at me on deployment. I'm like, you vagina, that's not a deployment. Um, I got screwed out of two of those. Uh, one, because I had to go to corporal's course. Yeah, I didn't get to go to that. Uh, you didn't miss much. Nope. Um, I didn't really get to learn how to use a sword. It was funny. I was, I was, I was the most senior corporal in my corporal's course, and I, I had more ribbons than all of the sergeants. Nice. So they all kind of looked to me for guidance, and I was like, how long have you been in there? Like four years. I was like, I've been a fucking corporal about as long as you've been in the Marine Corps sergeant. Like, get out of here. So I did one, uh, <laughs> one successful tour. I came home with all my limbs, um, some of my sanity, but I did not, uh, I did not go on anymore. Did you guys take any casualties? We didn't. Um, third LAR was very fortunate not to have any casualties. Uh, however, our brothers in one one first the time. The wolf pack. Yep, the wolf pack. The wolf. The strength pack. of the wolf is the pack. And Stephen Cochran, if you're listening to this, the uh, the destroyers suck. Oh my um, god! The gauntlet has been thrown that's, down. That's down. That's second, fired, that's second LAR. I got buddies out there too, and uh, we're all one family, but we all hate each other equally. So yes, nobody sucked out. But no, our, uh, <laughs> we were, we were, shit, we were, we were headed out to Pegel, which was our, sur- our furthest outpost out by Pakistan. And we got called Red Air in a little village called Shakala. Um, Red Air, for those of you that, that don't know, everybody on here should know, but it's when you can't move at all. You are stopped, you are halted wherever you are. And we got called for Red Air because 1st Battalion, 1st Marines, uh, they took contact. Uh, they lost their interpreter, their corpsman, and one or two of their Marines, I believe. Um, it was a very unfortunate accident that it could have been taken a whole different way. It could have been a lot worse, but it also could have been a lot better, too. And Marines, we thrive on being perfect about everything. I mean, I just carved pumpkins with my daughters yesterday, and that Frankenstein had to look perfect. So I'm there with a scalpel, like, right. yeah, nurse. You got to fix, da- fix it. Dab, dab the sweat on my head right now. Um, so, see, he told you I was funny. Right? He wasn't he is. Uh, Hey, Donnie O'Malley, dude, you got to hire this guy, man. He is hilarious. Donnie O'Malley has a huge penis, and everybody hates it. Um, but but um, they took a casualty. I actually got to meet one of the Marines that was in that firefight up there. Um, He was in my recruiting class, a really good friend of mine. He actually went up to North Dakota to recruit. Um, And we, we were talking about it with all the, you know, how all the senior NCOs or anything, anybody, any service member gets together with their buddies and, or just new people. It's you size them up by their ribbons. We're all standing there in recruiter school on MCRD San Diego. And we're all standing in the hallway, just talking, shooting the shit. And that story comes up. And one of the guys, one of my buddies, he was actually standing next to me. He's like, man, I was there. What happened was a platoon sergeant lost count of his Marines and left somebody out there. Oh, shit. So, and that sergeant, once that was found out, kind of like a similar instance, um, that sergeant was no longer there anymore. Uh, But we didn't lose anybody. We came home with everybody we went out there with. I had a couple close calls, but um, we all came home one big family. I'm in. Your whole time you were recruiting, was that here in Middle Tennessee? Yes, it was. Um, never really did much of traveling. Um, I was over the great state of California, um, as communist as it is. It is very beautiful. Uh, spent seven years of my life there, married my wife. Um, she's gone now. So every good Marine has two good Sorry things. Sorry about that. Every good Marine has two good things. A deployment, or three things, let's say. A deployment. A NJP. We we're just talking about yep. NJPs, and, and then uh, also d- a divorce. Divorce, <laughs> right? Yes. So oh, I just oh, oh, and a D, yeah, DD form two fourteen too. Two forty four. Uh, but that's what part of California? I was uh, in Twenty Nine Palms, California, up uh, in the high desert. Uh, yeah. um, you say uh because you didn't spend enough time there. It's actually a great Camp place. Camp Wilson, they can suck it. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, Camp uh, Wilson. Master suck it. Master Guns loved that place too, right? He, he kept, did. He kept, I don't know what he kept he, going back. I don't know what it is about Twenty Nine Palms. I mean. Main side is nice. I was there for six hours, but I was at Kate Wilson in 2006 getting ready for the uh, uh, our Ramadi deployment. At 29 Palms, I mean, we were at Kate Wilson. We had nothing out there, but the base is actually really nice. The Chow Hall, 
And they have flat screen TVs, a huge salad bar. Which one, which one did you go to? Uh, Tankers, the the tank. The yeah, tank, the tank. Jason Dunham Chow Hall. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's, that's why, right. because it's brand new. If you Dude, on, it was amazing. If you go, have you seen the movie Taking Chance? Yes, with right? uh, Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon, yeah. right? Lieutenant Colonel who escorts a Marine home. Yeah, that's a true story. Yeah, right. I, I cried my eyes out of that story. Chance Phelps. That's Phelps Chow Hall. Uh, it's right uh, down, right below Third LAR stupid barracks that are all sideways. Yeah. Everything's covered in line like drone structures, like besides <laughs> our stupid barracks. That's why everybody hated us. Third, third CB and Third LAR. It's the thirds. Um, but <laughs> Chance uh, Phelps Chow Hall. That was one of the best ones because we actually had Marines running the debt fact, not those Sedeco. So, yeah, Sedeco. Uh, so, yeah, civilian so, people. Yeah. And uh, one of my good buddies, uh, Louis Savila. He's a recruiting uh, staff. Do I know him? Yeah, he was down in Manchester. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. The tall dude, excuse me, I burped, I'm drinking a Corona here, so. (laughs) Um, No, it was uh, Louis Avila, he was Manchester, he moved up to Clarksville, he's a station commander up there for recruiting. Um, So he went from frauding kids into the system (laughs) to helping fraud the kids into the system. That's awesome. Good to go. Good job. It's been a little time. Staff Sergeant, Gunny, what is he now? I don't know, he's a cook. Good job, cook. Good job. I I have a question about... 29 Palms. Is 29 Palms and Camp Wilson, is on the same property? It is. Yes. So we adopted 29 Palms back, I believe, in the 80s, You know, hey, this 80s. is Hollywood uh, marine yeah. stuff, so yeah. you know this yeah, more than I do. <laughs> oh, we go to Camp <laughs> Lejeune. It's Lejeune. It's Lejeune. Right? It's, Lejeune. it's Lejeune. Everybody says Lejeune. Uh, no, 29 Palms was actually adopted by the or- from the Army. Uh, we get all the good stuff, you know, all the stuff that the we Army get all doesn't that, yeah. want. Um, <laughs> It's kind of like rat fucking MREs. We just uh, rat fuck bases. So Chili Wilson Mac. is a subdivision of Camp uh, or Twenty Nine Palms Marine Corps Air Ground Combat. Center. That's where we do uh, the combined arms exercise. Yep. But it's now called ITX. McCaxi. We call it now. It's yeah. It's ITX Inter- uh, service Infantry Training, training Exercises or something. Yeah. But you know, Wilson is a. It's a little fob out there. Um, oh, I got it's, it's got, cold. It's got like, we went in January. It was cold as shit, like at yeah, night, was, and then it was hot during the day. That desert, that desert heat and desert cool is four ten, four ten alpha machine gun hill. Ugh. Range five hundred was all the LAVs. And oh tank. yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then FOB three was where all the fun stuff happened. Like the Raiders would drop in, and you're like, oh. Hey, but the rifle range is amazing. Like they've got the pop up targets and stuff like that. They no, they got well. They got the old fashioned where you throw. Is it, it the old fashioned? Okay, yeah. you're thinking about Miramar. Is that? I, I don't know. I, I, we went to some base and all these targets kept on popping up, and we kept on shooting them, and we would get scored for how well we did. Maybe it's not twenty nine palms. It's not twenty nine. I don't know. That was a shithole. You could you could have a crosswind at fifteen miles an hour from the five. Right, so you always go down. The, I go down the line and just see what the wind's doing, but you always want to go off the what's it's in the pits. That's where your round's going to end up. Being a marksmanship instructor, being a, a hunter, you want to know where that round's going. No shit. One day we're out there is qual day, and I have a crosswind going to the right at ten knots, and then I have one going to the left at the three hundred, and then one going at the one hundred, and then in the pits I'm like, fuck, I'm just going to shoot straight. Maybe I'll just do a whole circle and hit. And I shot, and it was. Wherever it was, I didn't I didn't aim where it hit, but it was there. Are you it, an expert called? Uh, expert for the last part of my years. Um, last time I shot on the range, I actually played a game with my buddy just to see how bad I could do and how, <laughs> how good I could make it up. And uh, on qual day, Kevin Sink, I kept looking at He was our RSO for the unit. I kept turning around. I was like, give me a number between one and five. And he's like, three. I was like, bang. He's like, shit. All right. <laughs> two bang there it is what give me something better give me two fives all right bang bang um so the last one was a uh, by pure stupidity um i i called last time was sharpshooter nice so did i so well, uh, last time in the marine corps was sharpshooter i think is when you start not giving a fuck at all 219 i didn't get any pit love that day oh, i was no like, pit love i was like two point shy of expert <laughs> They they screwed me on table two as well. They told me my dirty my weapon was dirty. Now you're you're gonna be our PMI. Are you you and um what's his Pete name? Del Rosso. Del Rosso, yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys are gonna help out and get us a shooting team. Yep. Actually, so uh, VFW twelve two zero six. We're gonna start a trap team as well as a uh, probably awesome. a handgun competition. Just friendly. 
uh, hopefully pitch it out there to our state and then up to the nation. So maybe we can get kind of a VFW rivalry going. Who has the best? That would team. be amazing. And who doesn't like to go just shoot guns? I mean, dude, everybody in our post, like even Ross, the Air Force guy, he loved just kidding. Ross, I know hey, he loves to shoot. He loves gun therapy. But the thing is, is the motto for the Air Force is aim high. So he always misses. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, I tell sorry. my I tell my dad that all the time. <laughs> Aim lower, motherfucker. You'll hit it. <laughs> and he stands up at seven hundred yards and takes it. Well, at least we qual with iron sights. Okay, these new kids are getting ACOGs at at boot camp. Yep, four power optic scope. They can see it that four takes times better. All weekend. the fun out of shooting. All no, of it. That, that's. Smart, work smarter, not harder. Yeah, that's that is our that is one of our models. You got to think if you had if you had an ACOG if you had an RCO in Ramadi. Yeah, would you have hit more? Mm, well, I, I actually I had an ACOG in Ramadi. Oh, see, there you go. You fucking cheated. <laughs> but, but, you cheated hey, during game day. But but just but, like but, the Patriots. You're one bitching about that. If your ACOG gets here, like here shot go. off, you, you have to learn. You, you have to you know go back to the iron sights. You have to learn. That's the first thing. And no loop slings. We don't no, do that they anymore. have the Vicker sling now. What the, the hell is that? It's you get to put yourself in a G string on a weapon. Ew. What do you mean, you? Is it good? This fucking new guy over here. <laughs> Is it good? I've never used it. I don't know what you it's got, like. You didn't watch. You didn't watch Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, you're married to this piece, this weapon of this, iron, this iron and, and wood. wood. Not finger banging Mary, Gra- Mary Mary Jane Mary, Mary Jane Rotten Crotch. Yes. By her pink pain, yeah, and her we're married. Panties. We're married to that weapon. You got a M sixteen M sixteen A two uh, in boot camp A four with, with the triangle. Yeah, yeah. stupid. Yeah, and then uh, the broom handle. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah with, a, with a. So the you qualified, is, and then you cheated during game day. Yeah, you're you're Tom Brady. I am Tom Brady. Yeah, the deflate game. <laughs> hey, continues. by the way, did uh, the Patriots, are they are they winning? Did they win? Did they the beat Cal- be the Cowboys? I, it was over before it started. It was over uh, before it started. Come on, man. Bilicek is a good coach. He is a good coach. He lost, he lost his he lost, power stars. Well, yeah. Oh, uh, Shit. And you know Gronkowski. Cowboys right? won 35-29. Gronkowski's going to fall Brady. Damn, I, sorry, Patriots. I hate the Cowboys. I hate the Cowboys, but too. But fuck Boston. Yep. Fuck everything Boston. Hey, easy, easy. I grew up half my life there, man. I hate their sports, man. Uh, Bruins, Red Sox, them. Celtics, uh, Patriots. Those are my guys. Fan boy. That's hey, all you are. Uh, yeah. Since 1984. All right. When were you born, sir? Huh? When were you born? Way after you became Way a after fan boy. I became yeah. a fanboy. Uh, hey, uh, a fanboy. We had a really. We had a marine on here. Um, one of our first uh, guests he called Andrew a motard. Yeah, I am a motard. I, I freaking laughed my ass off. We can't say that, <laughs> that anymore. Is, that you can't say motard. <laughs> well, I heard in the Marine Corps now you can't say that. We're not in the Marine Corps now. Well, yeah, yeah but we can say it. We're, fuck yeah, we can do a lot of things. Yeah, we can do. We can't get injured. I can. I cannot get my vaccine. And because yeah. I don't fucking want to. Hey, speaking of that, did go. you guys hear that the Secretary of the Navy is going to punish the Navy SEALs for not getting vaccinated? Is that true? I saw that on the uh, the news uh, pop up on my phone. I did hear that. I don't know. What do you What do you think about the the vaccination thing, man? You know, it's kind of. I actually had this conversation at my work uh, not too long ago, um, and I had a I had a debate with a nice young lady in there. Um, and I, I posed this question I said, well, you know, you got your vaccine. Yeah. She said, yeah. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, you're protecting yourself against me. Well, I carry a gun everywhere I go. Right. I'm carrying right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's not to protect you. It's to protect me from you and you and you and you and everybody. But it's also, if you're not in the line of fire, I'm going to protect you. So is it your fucking choice? No. You decide, or it is your choice. You decided that you wanted to do it. I decided that I want to carry a gun. That's why I never wore a mask during this little shutdown because it's a federal crime to carry a weapon, to brandish a weapon while a mask on is on your face. Did you know that? Ooh, yeah. that's uh, yeah, that's that's a law. It that's, is. That's, it's a federal. It's a federal law. law. It's a federal yeah, law. yeah, yeah. And if I'm, if I I'm, didn't realize that. If I'm federal, if I am legally huh. carrying a firearm. I'm of age. I don't have any felonies. I can possess a firearm. I cannot wear a mask. So it got in depth further. She said, well, well, you know, you need to get your vaccine. Everybody needs to do it because we want to get 75% of the nation 
vaccinated and all this uh, shit. Herd, that's like, herd, uh, herd uh, immunity. immunity. Yeah, that herd kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know what? We're never going to get rid of the virus unless you do one thing. And you're not going to like that because you are you represent a certain party. And I can tell that already without even asking that. A certain I said, party? The, the, one, the one thing. I know exactly what you're going to say. The one thing that we have to do. A certain party. Is build a wall. Yeah. Yes. We have to lock down. 100%, no in or out unless you have papers, like the Nazis did, unless you have papers to travel through the United States. I got my papers. This, sound, this sounds very, very familiar. Did you get the vaccine? I got the vaccine. Of course you did. You're a fanboy. Well, because, dude, I work with a lot. I mean, I have to you, travel. Hey, to, you have to do yeah. it, and that's fine. And you know what? This is where the conversation ended up. I, I made her understand that it is my body, and it's my choice. Ooh, good I used, one. I used her own words yep. against her. Yep, my body, not, my choice. And not in a sexist term for all the female vets out there listening or any females. This was just strictly, it's my body choice. I'm going to put whatever it is I want in there. And I spent yeah. a decade of my life protecting this country. And I got pumped with 10 years of, I don't know what the hell we got. You got the answer. Right? Same as yeah. me. We all have that deployment shot with a f- damn... 15 prong. Ugh. It was the best one. Dude, Besides I got pneumonia. The the, I, I had just gotten anthrax. I was like, I was already on my first post. I'm like, Doc, dude, seriously, I'm not feeling good. I gotta, I gotta go down and rest. He's like, and my sergeant was like, nope, you're not going anywhere. You're gonna do post. And I got lumps underneath my, I was, I'm in Fallujah and I got lumps underneath my arms. That's breast cancer. Yeah. My, my favorite one Damn, was Sergeant uh, Stockton, you missed it. My, my favorite one was the malaria medication. Oh, oh had those doxy, the doxycycline Holy twenty second new man. man. That's the only dream I've ever had where I ripped my dick off and flew on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that stuff. Fuck marijuana. Fuck yeah. acid. All that shit. Just put that on the streets, and we will all have a good time. And guess what? We'll never get malaria. It's true. And, and you'll, we'll you'll have you'll, very clean skin. You'll it have takes the away all the pimples. <laughs> you'll have the freaking shits for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when they give when they give us the malaria medication, so we're on a freaking ship, man. There's five thousand guys on this ship. They mm. give it to everybody at once. Well, there's only like so many toilets on this, <laughs> so many commodes on heads, heads, heads. heads. And, uh, come on, Navy. So, like, everybody's, like, lining up, like, doing the happy dance. Like, come on, man, hurry up, get off the toilet. <laughs> like, he gave you the shit. That's, where, that's where any Marine drill instructor would be like, two to a shitter right now, two to a shitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And then you have that confused look of, like, maybe he's fucking serious. Like, well, how are we going to do this? Like, are you going to shit through my... Yeah. Are you going to hit my ball sack, man? Like, is this going to happen? Are we going to be like real brothers right now? This is oh, dude, up. you have some of the best conversations when taking shits, like at Paris yeah. Island. You're well, you facing guys are, each other. Yeah. And you're like, hey, can I, um, can I, you know, date your sister? No, no, you cannot. Yeah, who do you got coming for family? Now? <laughs> Can I see pictures of your family? Maybe I can. Maybe I can try to fuck your this sister. Is a, real quick. Yeah, this is the kind of shit that civilians miss out on, man. I swear to God, they don't know. taking a shit and there's a guy right next to you. They, oh man, no that, divider. That's crazy. Man, I had this one time. Um, in, this one time. <laughs> this one time in, in boot camp. camp. <laughs> in, boot <laughs> in boot camp, I was I was playing with my flute. But no, we were uh, <laughs> me and my buddy Mike James, who's my rack mate in boot camp, MCT, and the schoolhouse in Camp Lejeune. Um, we were taking a shit one night, and our, our kill hat, Sergeant Duque, he comes walking in, and he's like, mm, James. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> he's got the voice, he's man. Like, mm. He's got the voice. He's like, mm, James. And I was like, oh, shit, man. He's, and he's like right across from me, staring at me just like I am you. And he's like, fuck. And I was like, you better answer. And he's like, yes, sir. And he's like, is that a good shit? <laughs> and I was like, oh, man. He's like, yes, sir. He's like. What are you going to do now? And he pulls the toilet paper off the roll and he walks away. And I was like, yo. And he looked at me. He's just like, what am I supposed to do, sir? He's like, find a way. So in the Marine Corps, we have a table display of one, two, like nine ta- nine toilet paper rolls in this little box at the end of the. Uh, did you guys do that on the yeah. East Coast? All right. So <laughs> no, James, you guys do that on the East Coast? Well, I don't yes. fucking know what you guys do. You probably go to like, we go to Padres games, right? Is that what you want to say? No. Oh, everybody says no. that. Anyway. So we're sitting there, you know, I'm taking a shit, he's taking a shit, and he walks up and he's like doing the scuttlebutt, right? He's just, oh, he's the just scuttlebutt. He is just he's yeah. just shaking his ass like a moneymaker. And he hobbles down and gets a new toilet paper roll, throws it back on. Duque walks back in. <laughs> really, James? And I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> and he takes that one, he's like, now find a way. 
So James, being the smart ass that he is, he's from Kansas City. He's a stupid ass. Um, he goes and grabs the whole taper, the, the display, all of the eight other roles. Marines can do math. Rem- remarkable. So he goes and grabs them. He sits back down and goes and shits again. And Duquesne walks in and he's like, mm, good try, bitch. <laughs> and I was like, shit, man, he's, he's so fucked now. And he's my rack man. I'm fucked too. Oh, we're about to get fucked. And he grabs it. He's like, now what are you going to do? And he walked out and James looks at me. And I was like, I'm not fucking giving you mine <laughs> because he's going to fuck with me too. And I walked out, and that motherfucker walked out with one sock on. Oh, God, oh, man. <laughs> I've done that before. I actually have done that it was before. Fucking brutal. It was so... And it, when you try the not... white sock? Yeah, the white sock. Yeah, the, the white little, sock. You know, the PT sock. Yeah. But, you know, the biggest thing the about PT boot camp sock. is Why was your, he fucking with him? Why? Yeah. Because he's what? an asshole. Uh, the, him particularly. <laughs> Duque had a certain way with people, and he hated me. So he hated anybody that was around me, which was uh-huh. my my upstairs neighbor, Mike James. Um, no, it was it was you know you know boot camp. You you get taught a lot of things, and you know your discipline and everything like Integrity. that. You're not supposed to fucking move, right? You're at the position of attention. You're not going to move. You can't talk at port arms and all that stuff. Oh God! <laughs> right, oh, and you, and you're so scared. And the thing is, is you start thinking, I want to laugh so bad and take a shit, but I can't. Because this motherfucker is about to eat my face off, like that dude in Florida that bit somebody's face off when he's high on bath salts. Like he's gonna, yeah. he's gonna literally oh, yeah. molest my face with his mouth <laughs> because I'm shitting and laughing, and that is the most sphincter pain I've ever had in my asshole. Because I'm sitting there trying to shit and trying not let. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch! And he like turned around to me and was like, "That's a really big one," you know. So, you know, I hated uh, asking permission to go to the head. Like, that was the dumbest shit in the world. Yeah. yeah. Knock three times. Uh, hey, this is, I, I, I didn't even want to fucking say that shit. Good afternoon, sir. This good is afternoon, recruit, sir. This is recruit four requesting permission to speak to senior drill instructor, dickhead. What do you want, freak? Can I use that? Uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> this, oh, this recruit requests permission to make a head call. Well, fucking pull your phone out. What the, f- what? And then you huh? got that. You got what? What? And then that, that, that recruit who's dumb enough, he actually makes the phone with his hand, and he's like, <laughs> head, I'm calling you. I actually never did that. I just, I was too scared. I just never asked Staff Sergeant Senior senior Drill Instructor Bruno to go to the head. I just either peed in my pants or... Shit B- your pants. BWT, dude. You know when you go underneath yeah. the concertina wire with the water? Yeah. Dude, I pissed all in that, man. I was, oh, God, I was so relieved. But... <laughs> Four or five guys ahead of me had done the same thing. So I'm like going in the water and there's fucking piss and shit mm. and fucking water. Tasty. And it's awesome. Yeah. Dude, it's that's the shit so I miss. Awesome. I you, miss and that shit. I miss that. that. And then at that day, you knew you were going to be a machine gunner. And that day, I Just was going to be a machine picking gunner. Picking that shit deep. That's right. Pick them deep, baby. Pick them deep. Em deep. So, so deep. Deep and hard. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> deep and hard. You know, we actually had a guy... Who was so afraid to ask permission to make a head call, he shit himself? I could believe that. We were we were getting tailored. Our first tailor, you know, Marines get. Oh, we, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, go to, you go to the tailor shop, and that old person shakes your ass with your pants and stuff. <laughs> and this kid, he was like four or five people deep in front of me, and he gets up on that stupid three-step stand. And he, the the dude shakes his pants, and this turd rolls out of his pant leg. Dead ass serious. I swear to God, I take that shit on my grave. I'm sitting there, and my mouth dropped. I went, "What the fuck?" And it's like forming day when you meet your drill instructors. They all come swarming in because they heard the shit hit the fan. And they're Literally. coming in. This guy, the dude, the tailor, he turned around and looked at us like, what the fuck did he just do? And we're all sitting there confused like we can't answer. <laughs> and this motherfucking kid shit himself. And the drill instructor was losing his bearing. He's like, what the fuck? Why didn't you ask to go? And we're all sitting there. Like, he broke his frog voice. It was gall gone. And he was like, that was a human speaking. And we're like. What the fuck? You got a real voice? Like, I fucking scream. And then you fucking scream. And then you suck my dead voice. And he just is like, what the fuck? Donnie, I hope you're listening to this, man. This shit is gold. You didn't ask to go take a shit 
And he's like, this recruit was too scared, sir. I was like, and shitting yourself was the next best option, bitch. I'm fourth up there. I got, I got to stand in your shit. <laughs> so they made this fucker walk back there and they didn't even, they, they let him keep those. Ugh. They didn't want to touch them trousers. He kept them motherfuckers the whole goddamn cycle. And that drone instructor made sure he had those everywhere he went. <laughs> they were in his left breast pocket. <laughs> the fucker was going to town on him. Uh, why, see, why didn't you go, um, Drone structure. Drone structure. You oh. would have been a good one, man. I, you know, there's this thing called, you know, like politics in the Marine Corps. There's that too, you know, but it's, it's also, they don't want the, the fat guy out there, you know, were I you can, a fat, you, were I can, you a fat guy? I was, I guess I was apparently really? to my, all of my sergeant majors. Yeah. Um, once I got back from deployment, um, I took a little spill out there and my muscle turned into fat. I was at one t- at one time a pretty good uh, pretty good set dude. Um, then my back got fucked up, and I stopped going to the gym because I couldn't lift anything over like a pencil. Um, the the doc over at BAS, he's like, "Hey, corporal, you're you're kind of or I was on Lance Corporal. He's like, "Hey, Lance Corporal, your your shit's all fucked up. You're gonna be, you know, you you can't lift more than five pounds." I was like, "Hey, doc, I'm gonna take a piss." <laughs> and he's like, "What?" And I was like, "My dick my my dick weighs five pounds, so you better come help me." Because I, I love my name. That's boys. a heavy dick, dude. That's yeah, a heavy dick. It's, it's bad. That's why I got all them kids, summer kids. How many summer. kids you got? Summer. Summer. Summer here, summer there. Mm-hmm. I got four total. I got Aiden, who's my oldest. He's out in California. How old is uh, he? He is eight years old. Just turned eight on the uh, 13th of last month. Nice. And then I have Isabella, my daughter. She's here with my ex-wife. And I have Annalise with my ex-wife and Theodore Randall. Um, he just turned to on the 23rd of last month. Theodore nice. Randall is actually named after the Motor City Madman, Ted Nugent. Um, uh, I'm a guitar, an avid guitar player. Uh, one of my favorite rockers of all time, the hair band. Um, Damn Yankees was by far one of the best stuff that he did. Yeah. And, uh, also after Teddy, Ru- uh, Roosevelt, uh, just because he's one of my favorite presidents. And then Randall comes from my uncle, Randy, who passed away, um, about nine hours before he was born. Or after he was born, um, and then uh, Randy Rhodes. So it's kind of oh, a man. my legacy on. He's the last. He's the next Jablonski get, that gets to carry the name. That's awesome, man. So. You have a sounds like you have a nice family. I do, I do they're uh, they keep me going? Those little, I got an eight year old, a seven year old, a four year old, and a two year old. I'm always on the move. You're always doing something. I got contact left and right with them little shits. They throw everything at dad. Contact left. Yeah. They don't like it when dad decides to join the Nerf Wars. And nerf Wars? Oh, yeah, I shoot them in the face with this. Do you have good Nerf, uh, <laughs> some Nerf rifles? Nerf nerf handguns? I'm a marksmanship instructor. I don't need a goddamn rifle. Okay. I don't need your RTO. Just check you. I don't need those stinking Damn badges. PMIs. <laughs> um, actually, Commander uh, Flake, you I have one have question. You don't have to call me Commander. Huh? You don't have to call me commander. I'm sorry. It's a habit, dude. It's a habit. He has to. Uh, so, Fleek, um, I, I want to ask uh, yes, Louis J. something uh, that happened in the news mm. just recently. Um, that lieutenant colonel. Um, Schuler. Schuler. yeah. What are, you, uh, what, what are your thoughts on that? My thoughts on Lieutenant Colonel Schuler's um, remarks about accountability are spot on. Very spot you know, on. As a as a veteran, as a American, as a staff sergeant in the Marine Corps, um, I stand with the Schuler family. He did everything possible because if you think about it, what was your rank when you got out, sir? Uh I was a low man on total pause E three. E three, right? E yep. three does anything. E four, corporal, corporal. E six staff sergeant. Ooh, Ross, staff if sergeant. We, if we did anything to the room to the the extent of the Afghanistan debacle of a pullout, um, we would have all got thrown up the damn flagpole. Mm-hmm. It would be hanging us by yard arms. That's what the Navy did. Yeah. Yard yeah. arms. Um, you know, I learned that from uh, a few good men. The Navy <laughs> doesn't hang people by yard arms. Um, <laughs> but no, I, it's my, the, my the thought process. Home. Yeah. <laughs> I'd use piano wire. It's a little easier. Ooh, garage, it goes garage. right through. It's a, it's a great one. But no, uh, the Schuler, Lieutenant Colonel Schuler's thing is every Marine asks for accountability of their seniors. I know I got called on for some stuff, that gut check moment. And what we did out there as a entire service, um, all military branches, that is an embarrassment. 
um, Marines yeah. especially. Um, we are very found, and I have a lot of good stories about messing with the Army, um, but we're very found about keep maintaining that weapon system. And that thing is on us everywhere we go, and we know that when we turn it in the armory, it's it's to bed. It's, it's got to be clean. It's got to be, be clean. clean. It's got to. It's just like when you when you go to sleep at night. Some people take a shower at night, and some people don't. Those nasty individuals need to fall in a hole and live. But that I, don't, weapon, I don't take a shower before I go to sleep. It's because you're a machine gunner. Y'all fuckers leave it for everybody. We else. are machine gunners. Are the right? nasty. So, but we all <laughs> depend on that weapon system because we always clean it first. We take care of our gear second, and then we take care of ourselves third. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is always a Marine Corps thing. And we laid all that information, all that gear out there for them. Million to dollars? Take. No, eighty-four million dollars billion worth of gear. Billion. billion. Oh, it was a billion. With a oh, it was a billion. Sorry. I thought it was a million. With a B. It was huge. It was with, a, B. with a B. Yeah, Sorry, huge. my bad. Um, I'm pretty 80, sure it was billion, right? Now I'm yeah. second guessing myself. <laughs> it sounds, I think it was about. I think it was billion. Yeah. It was well, billions. I don't know. Billions. Regardless, it was an ass amount of money. Right? Yeah. It was huge. Um, but no, we laid that all out there for them to take. And he asked for accountability because we gave up one of the strongest air bases that we had in that area of the world, Bagram. Um, and a lot of people who watch, you know, Lone Survivor, or they watch uh, Kyle Carpenter's story, American Sniper, oh, yeah. they always hear about Bagram. And a lot of the veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan, they'll talk about Bagram Air Base. You know, that's where we had all of our bombers, all of our our A-10 war thugs, our, our B-52 bombers. We were, mm-hmm. They're all there. And you shut that entire air support down and expect a couple Lance Corporals that didn't grow up in the street brawl era that we all did like you'd f- handle it with your yeah. fist you wouldn't handle it with social media and get behind a damn keyboard they're out there providing security and the only contact they've ever taken is when they were fucking sitting there as an embryo in their mom's womb Ouch. and their dad made contact front <laughs> nice. and shot all the semen right at him and then they split that's a good metaphor I but, like my, but my marines <laughs> that i put in one of which jordan tomlinson he was out there uh they did a great job but as as you stated, you know, my, my remarks about the Schuler case is that Marine is asking for accountability, just like anybody else. If you lose your weapon, if you lose a piece of gear, if you if you do anything fucked up in the military, you get held accountable for your actions. Yeah. And he, it's uh, a part of the UCMJ. He's yeah, but he's he's it's good. He's getting out. He's going to be yeah, have an honorable discharge. General, general yeah, the, other than honorable. Yeah, oh, it's GOTH? Under honorable discharges. Yeah. Oh. And then 5000 a month for like a year or something like that? And he, from my knowledge, uh, with the news articles that I read on MSNBC and Fox, and also with um, what he stated on his YouTube video when he was playing chess, because war is chair. like a game of chess. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. War is a game of chess. He has forfeited all of his benefits. So he, by him, um, and you can quote me on this. He gave up his VA disability and his retirement. So he is just going to exit the service. I did my part. I did my time. I'm proud of it. But right now, it's kind of the way I got out of the military. I could kind of start seeing things start yeah. to happen with who was running for president and who also won. Um, of a, a certain party. Of a party. Yeah. You know, of a party. Out there. <clears throat> a certain party. <clears throat> but um, there is the, that there's an a lot of problems. man. Biden? Yes. Biden. Uh, we're yeah, getting into it. Now we're getting he's into not, it. He is not a president. He is. He babbles. Like when he talks, it's embarrassing, man. When, well, hey, when you can't sleepy finish. Old Joe. When you can't finish a sentence and people say, oh, he's got speech impediment. You're mean. I don't give a fuck. All right. This is right. the leader of our country. The leader of the free world. And man. this is everybody thrives. Everybody wants of different nations. And you probably met them too. And you probably met them as well. But they all fantasize about coming to America because they have we have freedoms here yeah. that they can't do. You know, in Japan, you can't own a firearm. And that's a that's a crime. Same as it. England. You can't have a firearm. England, Australia, a lot of Europe can't do it. Yeah, and I got pulled over by the police in Australia and the police don't even carry firearms. Yeah, what are they gonna do? I yeah. mean there's a take that big stick and just up. Yeah. Well, never you mind. got kangaroos. Can you, <laughs> you got ca- fuck a stick, kangaroo. Like, kangaroo. I'm not worried about him. I'm not worried about. Any, I'm worried about kangaroo. I'm Dude, they're rabid, man. Kangaroo. Those those things are crazy. Have you seen the one that looks? But like yeah, him? when it's all buffed out, man, he's like yeah, ripped. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. that motherfucker's got more abs than I do. Yes. <laughs> I have ab. I have one. I have, I have PPE. So I have, a, uh, I have a belly. Talking about uh, people that want to come to this country, man. Like this is no shit. I've told the story many times. I was in Africa. 
uh, we went to Mombasa, Kenya. Um, and I was walking the streets of Mombasa, Kenya, and this lady, every country, I've been to four different continents. Mm-hmm. Every country I've ever been to, they all spoke English, yep. except for Mombasa was very, not, not, there was very uneducated people. They didn't speak English much at all. Mm. This lady comes up to me with a baby, and she just, all she speaks is Swahili. She's trying to give me her baby to take to America. Like, that's how bad it was there. She was trying to give me her fucking baby to take to America. I'm like, damn, damn. I can't freaking take your baby, man. This is, but she was like, ball, she was like literally sobbing. Give, like, yeah. I'm like, holy trying to force fucking you to take shit, it, man. man. Yeah. Like, take my daughter, give her a better life, take my son, give him a better life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's as- how much she loved her child. And she knew that she didn't, uh, you know, that her child didn't have a shot in hell yeah, but, in that country. You know, taking that baby to the greatest country in the world where we can do, you know, we've got our freedoms, yeah. we've got this, or. Yeah, and then people like literally live here. Go away a little bit, but. Bitch. We can, we can yeah. vote twice. And we can, we can <laughs> vote if we're dead. It <laughs> drives me nuts when people complain in this country, man. Like, you have no fucking you idea no what's out there, clue. man. Well, and it's also not just the what's out there. It's also the, do you know what it takes to defend a country this great? You know, to, yeah. to, to throw on the, the Navy uniform, the, the Marine Corps uniform, yeah. Army uniform, Air Force, all the branches. Take the oath. To, I mean, to, to, to raise your right hand and swear an oath to a piece of paper. Yeah, and to defend it. There I, are people out there that live in this great nation that hate that. They just absolutely yeah. hate it. And what I tell them is the same. It's easy to come in this motherfucker. Get out. If you don't like it, go yeah. to Canada. Deal with leaders yeah. in the metrics. I used to uh, get chills putting my uniform on, man. Like, that was the greatest thing in the world to me is to be able to put my country's uniform on. Well, yeah. if you guys didn't know, I'm not a garrison Marine. I like being deployed. I like the gunny rolls. I like uh-huh. not having my blouse boots. I don't think anybody so, doesn't like that, though. Like, I, was, I was at work the what? other day, and I was wearing this hat. <laughs> not that particular hat, but another one just like it. And a guy I work with says, hey, that's a cool hat. How do I get one? I said, it's pretty easy. All you got to do is sign on the dotted line. Give my country six years. Mm. Come back or four. on my podcast and tell me and tell me about <laughs> it. <laughs> or ten, eight total. Well, I think it's eight total, right? No, it that is. You have it's to four do. active and four. Yeah, IRR. Depend, so, depends on your contract yeah, and your MO. Yeah, because yeah, so, com guys got to do yeah. six go, go plus get, four. Go right? get my country eight years. Come back, talk to me about it, and I'll give you that. Or is it six plus two for com guys? It depends on your contracts. Really. But you know, you're you're the recruiter here, sir. Uh, so with, res- with reserves, you have a six by two. With certain MOSs, you have a six by two contract. Meaning six by two was uh, six years active and then two years inactive, inactive ready reserve. IRR. Uh, just in case a World War Three yeah. happens, that they call us up and it's we're coming, all, and we're all saying, "Oh no, I'm high. We can't go." And they're like, "Great, you're going to shoot. Great, just come on." Um, and then you have your traditional four by four contract, which is four years active, four years inactive, ready reserve. That's what I had. Uh, and once your eighth year is done, the federal government cannot touch you ever again. I, I was a three by six. I did three years active, three years active reserves. Probably had a, a special contract with them then. Yeah, well, that, was, probably, that was back in the eighties. Well, yeah, that was I, also in the eighties too. And also, they probably they needed to meet missions, so they just kind of fucking said, "Hey, you know what, dude? Uh, just yeah. here's three years, man. Just yeah. give me three, and I don't really care. Here's ten thousand dollars if you want it." Oh yeah, because you guys get a signing bonus, right? I did not. Yeah, oh, I didn't either. You did cheated. you? I, yeah. <laughs> I'm just bonus. kidding. I'm just my kidding. bonus was free medical care. That was my bonus. Yet, yeah. try care for life. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, do you miss it? Every goddamn day. Okay. I do. It's, and I was talking to you guys downstairs, you know, at the fire pit. Um, the biggest thing that I missed was just yelling at people for no reason. Just you get pissed yeah. off at your wife or your kids or something. You go to work and you take it on some 18 year old shithead kid from somewhere. <laughs> come here, PFC. Oh my God. Come, come here, here, motherfucker. And they're just like, I stop sergeant. And you're just like, I'm going to fuck your face with words. And you're going to take every fucking inch. And you're going to come my anger out of your ass when you go home tonight. I hate you so much. Why did you even look at me? Like you fucking looked at me wrong. Come here, bitch. And they're just like, Oh my God, Staff Sergeant, you shut the fuck up. Come here and just take it. Take it like a dirty girl. I had one Marine, no shit, tell me that he's like, spank me harder, Daddy. And I was like, bitch. And I was like, you motherfucker. And I was about to fucking choke slam him. Like, he was taller than me, too. I had to jump to get his fucking sh- his goddamn karate and fuck throw him on the ground. You should have been a drill instructor, man. You've got, you've got the. Yeah. 
The temperament. He's got I the wish. temperament. Man, I, I wish. Uh, funny story. I saw Sergeant Duque when I was in recruiter school at the PX. And uh, he looked at me. He's like, what are we doing here? And I was like, recruiter school, staff sergeant. And he's like, he looked at my rank. He's like, oh, you're a sergeant. Oh, he book talks staff sergeant like that. I was like, yes. <laughs> Go the yes. fuck away from me. He's like, oh, we're not book drill stroke school. I was like, no, I don't have a stupid shaved head and look like a penis like you. So have a good day, staff sergeant. And he's like, oh, oh we talked to fucking drill stroke. Shut up. Go away from me. I have class to get to. I have to learn how to. Lie Where was kids. class at? Where was the uh, recruiter class? Is that in California? <laughs> yeah. Um, San Diego. How long? Two and a half months. Ugh. Uh, t- t- teaching you how to lie to people. Everything in school is yes. The kid's going to say yes, and then you get out here to the streets, and you're like, hey, Johnny, do you want to join the Marine Corps? And they're like, no. No. <laughs> you're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do now? I, all right, so let me go through my cue cards in my head. Respond, start lying respond, to them. Respond to disinterest. What do you want? I want ten thousand dollars. I I don't have that. I won't kick your ass if you join the Marine Corps. That ain't gonna work. I'm not gonna fuck your mom if you join the Marine Corps. <laughs> Where do I sign, sir? <laughs> you got damn right. You fuck, sign now, motherfucker. Did you have quotas you had to fill? Uh, every Two rec- months. Right? Every recruiter on production is a one point three three. So you have to get one full bodied individual and a midget. <laughs> what what happens if you don't? <laughs> yeah, what does happen? If you don't meet your individual mission for three months consecutive, you get to go to this thing called set training. And it's a uh, sales enhancement training. They they really get you dressed up in your uniform because recruiters, the best recruiters, they don't ever really wear a uniform. You want to not talk down to a kid, but you want to be like, I want to relate yeah. to you. I yeah. wear something comfy. Same level. Yeah. Be nice I want to wear <laughs> jeans, ball cap. I'm and he did. The South. He, dude, he wore what he's wearing right now, and you guys can't see, but he's wearing a cap, a hoodie, and some jeans. Yep. And this is what he wore every day for three years. And I, I don't think I ever saw Staff Sergeant Jablonski in a uniform at all. No. I recruited 56 people, um, nice. 56 souls that I sold to this to our great branch and to this great country and 10 of which are females, which is a very hard, uh, yeah, it's hard to handle in the Marine Corps because no female wants to join. There's a lot that, that do, and they're afraid. And I have to go out there and talk to them. Um, because apparently a lot of Marines have a lot of hard times talking with females. I guess that's why you have those depend upon. I do. Pieces. Yeah. I didn't, they didn't teach me how to talk to girls. Oh, man, like that's infantry. You so. can't, and all you got to do is say, I'm grunt. I'm, I'm grunt. I'm a grunt. I'm <laughs> grunt. Show me boobs. Oh, I'm grunt. <laughs> yeah. It's not like, Drop it, your it's not like when right you start now. fucking speaking the Pythagorean theorem to them. Like, Oh, actually, if you calculate the a the, squared plus B the, squared, uh, the, the magneto is going through this room and you, and you look at the amperage and stuff. And that, that led light over there is 1.6 volts AC. And that, that's enough to kill you. And they're like, oh, my God, take my pants off for me. <laughs> With you gross, it's like, like I, those IT bubbles. I shoot, I shoot guns, big Marine Corps, and they fucking just fall to the floor and have a goddamn Oh, we print. love you. We want yep. your babies. Every grunt has three or four divorces and about $27,000. I just got, just got one. Um, and that, uh, It's because you weren't a good grunt. No. That, my, my staff sergeant said, uh, like, after you do four years infantry, then you're really a grunt. I'm like, okay, good to go. Sweet. Awesome. I did my four years, got the fuck out. Boom. Done. You became a motard. And I became a motard. And 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 the biggest supporter of the Marine Corps. Uh Because, and this is, you're going to make fun of me for this, both of you guys. Every Friday. I was just going to bring this up. I share on my (laughs) Facebook, Marine Corps graduation from Paris Island. Every Every Friday. Every Friday. Every Friday. If and I my can't wife, get it from the pages I'm on, I know I can get it from you. My wife, uh, she's like, she's. I, I took her to a graduation on our honeymoon. Mm. And you're weird, man. I know. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, Andrew, you're watching another graduation. I'm like, hell yes, I am. And standing at attention in my living room, I'm like, oh yeah, it's awesome. I'm sorry, I, I'm a motard. I'm mm. sorry. Mm. I love the core. Hell I love yeah. the core. Before we begin, may I make a head call? Yes, sir. Yeah, you gotta you gotta knock three times, man. I corporal or some shit. Oh yes, I staff sorry. Here we go. All right. You gotta yeah. make a head call? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll pause. Oh man. We got a whole ass. We've not we nobody's ever made a head call in the middle of our podcast. Nobody, You're the first. Because nobody came here drunk. That's uh, true. No. 
Hey, oof, oof. And we're back. And we're back. Mm. Oh. Sponsored by PP uh, in my pants. Yeah. Uh, and the United States Navy, the greatest smelling Navy. So, uh, mm. we have a pretty big gig tomorrow, man. We're invited to go to Dogs of War. Yeah, and, Dogs uh, of War. Interview Uncle Cy, Uncle America's Cy. favorite uncle. Uncle Cy. He's, uh, he's yeah. in uh, Sparta right now. No they shit. Just, yeah, they just picked him up. Who just picked him up? Um, Byron Davis, who runs Dogs of War. Um, they picked him up from the airport, and he's going to be at the shooting event, which you have to work, uh, what, 8 to 5 tomorrow? Seven, 8 to 4.30? Uh, well, come on out after you're done. It's at the Nashville Gun Club. Okay. Um, and Where I do you work at? I think it's going to go until like 22. It's a trucking company that hauls U.S. mail around the nation. So it's a it's a pretty good gig. Your mechanic? No, sir. I am not. Oh. I uh, I started there as a dispatcher, yeah. and then I became a dispatch supervisor, and then I hounded them enough to get me off of second shift. Um, Thank like, God, yeah, this second I, shift blows. It's you know honestly, if you think about it, it's just kind of like staying up late, like you do every night, but you're just working. Right. Um, but with kids, it's it's really hard, especially with one in school. So you get off at midnight, get them from the sitter back to the house at two in the morning and then you get about three hours of sleep and I don't have enough rip it and uh dip and <laughs> yeah. cigarettes to get through that bullshit. I mean you guys see me when I rip it damn near every you know, everywhere every, every meeting. You, oh well, you've only come to one. Well two two, two meetings. Don't yell sorry. At me. Two. All right. I'm I'm here. I well, I had to bust my ass for ten months to get to yeah. these meetings. All you right? did. So and we shut up we there. very welcome you. I'm I'm glad to be around brothers again. That's the biggest thing. And you're yeah. gonna help out and which is awesome because that's what we need. We need more people to help out. Yes, sir. Yeah, as long as uh our members don't freaking table everything we want to do. No, dude, I don't. It drives I, me fucking nuts. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Not from, you know, we don't have people. It won't happen. I don't want to say yeah. it on the, the air right now, but. Yeah, well, when he was, Lou was talking about the gun ranges and shit, everybody's like, well, how about over here? No, how about over here? I'm like, how about just let the man do his fucking job? Yeah, I mean. Like, check, the, <laughs> check the prices for Christianity. Why can't we just use yeah, like, a piece just, of It's 10 fucking dollars, and then, <laughs> exactly. and then Pete's yeah. just like, I got a fucking range right up the goddamn street. We can go right there right now. Well, fuck. Hey, Pete, you got, you got fire, you got, you got, you know, animals out there. I got fucking turkeys, and I got fucking, he's got that real thick ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It too. yeah. I got fucking turkeys, and I got fucking did. Just let me know what you want to do so I don't fucking shoot you myself. Like, all right, dude. You're gonna have to check out. You're gonna have to do a little bit of work on his range. I mean, it's okay, but it's not like what we're used to. Sucking dick? No, definitely not like that. Oh, shit, how did you get a? Boat? Yeah, how would you oh, know? That's why you didn't get promoted to sergeant. Because I didn't suck dick. Apparently. No, I did not. That's what it takes now. You can't spell corporal without oral. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking funny, dude. I never heard of that before. Whoa. Nice. Every every good corporal knows that that pun. Uh, no, I didn't hear that one. Well, that must be that must be a um, it's a were, boot thing were, or something, right? Oh, it's a boot. Oh, it's a boot thing. It's a, it's a boot oh, thing. You were you were born after me. God forsake you. Hey, Shut up. I went in 04, man. That's great. I'm glad. You know where I was in 04? Yeah. In fucking diapers, still probably. I don't know where. When I was were you born? 92. No, I was, oh, I was just learn, I was school. just learning what finger bang Mary M Rotten Crotch was. <laughs> uh, That's where I was. God bless that. that where movie were you? Heartbreak Ridge. Mm. Oorah. It's Full Metal Jacket Devil. That's what we need to do, man. We need to have a movie night. VFW movie night. Yeah, VFW movie night. Like and watch Heartbreak Ridge and Act of Valor, which yeah. by the way is an amazing. Well, if we had a building. Oh, if we yeah, if we did have a building. You know, the only movie night that I had did not involve any of those movies. In the Marine Corps. Oh, yeah. In, on deployment. What what movie? <sighs> Shit. I mean, I don't know. There were so many of them. It was a lot of porn. Yeah, we. I had 144 gigs. How many? How much porn did you have? I had a terabyte. Nice. That had more That's AIDS. a lot of porn. <laughs> it was, my God. I was so confused. Like, Dude, here's my terabyte. Take, take this one, too. And I'm like, <laughs> I can't beat it that much, man. I'm like, shit. I can't. They're going to know we something's a, up. We had a sergeant that did. He actually, his wife asked me to control his masturbation. Like, so he wouldn't masturbate as much. And he was always in his If rant. you never did it in the turret, you're not it, really. So uh, when you guys are in, like, Afghanistan, do you get R&R? &R? No. Like they <laughs> we didn't get R my R and R was getting to go to a uh 
Pogue base, as the grunts would call it, but yeah. uh, where my battalion was up in camp. Haircuts. Oh, I should not live in it. It was a uh, Camp Pain, Fob Pain. Um, they actually had a flushing toilet and running water, which was like a dream because you didn't have to shit in the wag bags and you didn't have to uh, take the, the water bags. the water bottle showers where you cut holes in it or yep. you fill your camel had, back yeah, up. We had that. Um, so the R and R was getting to go to the big base that had the PX where you didn't have to go buy your dip from some Haji Bob that lived in the village right next to you. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta buy those Haji like videos, man. They've got like the, the whole were, Batman and yeah, and it's <laughs> if somebody goes there with a VHS recorder <laughs> and they set it down next to them and there's people walking and talking like, like the... fucking shut up, dude. <laughs> like I'm trying to watch the movie and you realize at one point that they can't hear you. They can't hear you. And everybody looks at you like you're stupid. And I'm like. Fuck. That was, a, Sorry. that was a Seinfeld episode. Mm. I love Seinfeld. Oh, <laughs> and Fleek, I was in Afghanistan. I was Iraq. But yeah. we had, you know, 12 days out in the city. And then we would have two days back at some, you know, Camp, uh, Camp Ramadi or, or Blue Diamond or something like that. And we get showers. We'd eat. And we'd call our parents or whatever. And then we'd go back, you know, to O.P. Haria and O.P. Hawk and Camp Corregidor and, like, patrolling in the city. Like, you know, we, well, your, we had two days off. And your deployment, your deployment was way different than mine because you guys were forward, you were pushed, you were. Well, all you guys, you guys, the there was nothing out there. We, there was a lot of out there. I mean, there was, I mean, like huts and shit like that. I no, don't know. They, I, I heard from my three A guys who were there in 09 and they were in like the south part of Helmand and yep. they uh, were like living in like foxholes and shit like that. And some of them, we we closed the we closed the base down mm-hmm. when I was leaving. We were retrograding everything back. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of nothing out there. There's villages. Um, and honestly, the NFL needs to start fucking looking into those kids because those kids throw a rock from a mile away and hit that. Hey, pony. Mista, Mista. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh. They would not want your M or your first strike ration was three meals in a bag, not the MRE, which is one glorious meal. <laughs> it's three shit meals. Um, we'd give them that and they'd throw it back at us, kind of like the Iraq kids used to do with y'all with the candy. We used to throw uh, frozen water bottles at them. It was awesome. That's the best. And you know what's best is when you're the generator mechanic (laughs) and you have control of the thermostat of that motherfucker and you can turn that thing as low as you want. So when it's 140 degrees outside, you always got AC in the freezer. So yeah, we'd take everything with us. Those little kids. You got a a NAM for that, didn't you? Yeah, CIRCOM. Uh, wipe your ass with that. I did. I got a circom. I did. I got a circom for doing my job, and my corporal got a NAM for doing my job, and my sergeant got, or my staff sergeant got a Navy com for doing my job. We got a circom for taking the battalion commander and the first sergeant and the captain to meetings. That's what we did. And that's our very first deployment. that's very important work. It was awesome. About. How how dare you? We did a thousand that. thousand Humvee missions. Thank you, Gunny. One thousand Humvee missions. Yeah, it was awesome. And got a circom. You did your job. Yeah. You, you, and if you didn't do your job, you know what you'd get? Accountability for not doing your job. Accountability. For taking people. There we go. To and from. Yeah. There it is. There back, back, Apparently not allowed to do that now. Back to accountability. That's not held up anymore. Even the yeah. cops out in the town don't do it. <sighs> but don't get me started on that. Do you know a lot of, uh, uh, Murfreesboro PD? I do. Uh, a lot of them actually stopped in right before you came in to bug me um, in the office. Kyle Frazier, did he come in? Frazier came hi? in all the he's time. A, he's a member of our post. Yeah. We Fraser, just put him in last week. Frazier came in a time or two. There's a, a reservist uh, Marine, and he never did anything, but he was super motivated about, about uh, the Marine Corps. Uh, another motard? Super, motard. It was worse. Like, he was worse I was than me? Feeling, I was feeling gas in my PO, my personal vehicle. <laughs> And this asshole was two pumps away. He's like, I know we pump, we pump gas at a position of attention. I looked at him and was like, shut the fuck up, asshole. I'm trying to fucking pump gas here. Like, don't talk to me. I'm like, watching the screen. I'm we're not friends. Little... I want to see how much my gas. I mean, I got to bet on myself. I'm betting on red. And you fucked it all up because you want to talk about position of attention. Well, well, I know we wash our windows left to right, not right to left. Shut the fuck up, you fucking pogue. Like... The How many bet- ribbons do you have? I probably like half four? of one. I don't even know if he has any. He's he's an idiot. Uh, <laughs> that uh, that new guy uh, at RSS Murfreesboro. He's he's got like five. Uh, I think he's a band guy. Oh, the new one? Yeah, the new one. Sergeant. I, don't know the new well, one I can't even remember. His last I know name. the one that I had, uh, Gunny Gonzalez. Oh, uh, Gunny. Um, I remember that guy. Good, really good guy. Um, really good guy. 
good friend of mine here um, offered his house to me when there was a lot of shit going on with me and my wife. But when it started coming time for like talking to these young kids about war, he kind of like shut up and like look at me like this is your cue. Tell them because I want to know too because I I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, He was a reservist O three eleven out of L A County in California. And uh, reservist O three eleven. And (laughs) that's just that's a contradiction in terms. I didn't know. I I don't even know what that is. I didn't even know the infantry had tampons. Yeah, I I didn't know either. Like 2013 when they started letting females go in the infantry. Uh, Okay, there we go. um, Yeah, that was like one eight, I think, right? Something First like Battalion, Eighth Marines. Something like that. Oorah, Sister Battalion. Sister Battalion. Way to go, guys. Mm. Yeah, that's. What do you guys think about women being in those roles? Oh, I I knew it. I knew. I knew we were going to talk about it. I knew it. I knew it. Um, do you want to go ahead? You start. You start this one. I want to lead off of you. I. Uh, uh, I mean, I can't. Uh, I'm not going to say. I, no, you go ahead. I, I can't say There's anything no right now. No balls at all. Well, no balls. I when can't when say. I was in the Navy, uh, so they weren't allowed on combatant ships. They were only yeah. allowed on like supply ships or, you know. Because like everybody was going to fuck them. Yeah. That's Which, what everybody's thought. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. going to fuck them. In 2007. Yeah. Everybody's going to fuck them. Every and no shit, got pregnant. No that, shit, honestly. That, that was my biggest beef with that. I'm like, this is, this is a horrible idea, putting yeah. all these girls on a ship full of 5,000 guys. That's stupid. Yeah, and most of them are Marines, too. And they're all pent up. I mean, you got your Navy boys that are all pent up too. That's why Navy guys are a bunch. They're really good singers. Very they, good singers. they got the acoustics of the submarine and the ships. They got the re- really good acoustics. Every Navy cat I've ever met that worked on subs or in the hull of a ship, they could sing really well because they have such great acoustics around them. You got the water just sucking that boat in there, and it's yeah. got thousands of pounds of pressure, and it's just it's resonating off that metal. So a lot of those Navy cats, they do have them. But, yeah, you're right. There's a lot of Marines on there that are they're pent up. They got aggression yeah. in them. They just want to fucking kill. And you, and wanna, you put them in a room. Put just, them, and just, just put one put female in the room and just watch grunts <laughs> right. turn into fucking Neanderthals. Like, oh, I got to fuck her. It's fuck time. <laughs> fuck. You know, that happened at Virginia Beach. it fucking did. It happened yeah. on everybody's <laughs> deployment. Yeah, the uh, second platoon ran a train on this lovely woman from Virginia Beach. Mm. And every one of my second platoon guys, I was married at the time, so I didn't, I wasn't part of this. You just said got train. Hit. I was anal. It was anal. Um, but <laughs> anal. All, the, all the guys in my platoon got <laughs> HPV. <laughs> <laughs> we all had to get board punched, man. All of us, even me. It wasn't even near. That's another near good thing. That's another thing that Marines have in common. We all get our dick punched because Yeah, we if can't. you guys don't know what board punching is, you don't want to know. Yeah. They stick a Q-tip in your it's dick. It's like taking a backwards piss. It yeah. hurts. What's really bad is when you make it awkward for the doc <laughs> before the board punching. Like, you take it out and you wiggle it around. And he's like, fucker. And then he grabs it. And you're like, oh, you have my attention now, sir. <laughs> the only time a grown man has ever had control of me just by the grasp of his hand around my dick. Under your genitals. <laughs> like, Come here, motherfucker. And he's just like, all right. I'm here. What's up, dog? His shit got frisky. Wait, wait. And they swab it around. Swab it like around. Swab it they're, around. They're, they're punching the damn sidewalls. Oh. Of that bad, Larry. Oh. Man, that hurt. But yeah, no females in infantry battalion. Since you don't have the balls to say, it. no, I'm gonna say it. I no, just you I, don't. You don't have the balls. To I say don't it. think it's. Uh, I don't think it's the greatest of ideas. See, and that's where a lot of people are wrong. And it's not me being fascist and and joining the 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 other party with their political debate. It's yes, there is females in combat scenarios. I met yeah. the first female lad, low altitude air defense weapon gunner. She was a lieutenant. Uh, for third lad in uh, Camp Pendleton. I stood duty with her, and I was like, you know what, ma'am? You're kind of like the modern-day Ophemae Johnson. Nice. And she's like, you know what? Shit, yeah, I am. And I was like, hey, you're the first lad gunner. Like, you're in it. You're in it. You're in an infantry kind of element. Really kind of element. We haven't shot down an aircraft since fucking Vietnam, so. Well, those, well, does lads still exist? Yeah, they exist. They do? Okay. They're the grunts of the air wing because they have first sergeants and not oh, master sergeants. Oh, God. The grunts but of the air wing. my personal thought about it is females 
can they can do anything that males can do. They can. Yeah, they, sure. I mean, I, I've met some females that can do. Can you do twenty pull ups right now? No, three. I know. I know three females off the top of my head. That's amazing. That can do it. Right. Not me. Not fuck me neither. The only time Maybe, I did twenty. Yeah. The only time I did twenty pulls was on deployment, and that was not for fucking school. Dude, I was one hundred and eighty two pounds, and I was pounding out twenty five, and now I couldn't even do like two. Yeah, I could probably get on the bar. Yeah, I'll exactly. get on the bar. I ain't gonna go over the motherfucker. Get over the bar. I mean, you don't lock them out. You're my lock out dad. your arms, bitch. Um, lock them out. But no, they can do. They can do anything that males can do too. And and the biggest thing that the infantry doesn't really understand because they're a bunch of dumbasses. Ouch! That is if you're me. in a firefight, you take a sucking chest wound. You better pray that that female is on her period because that tampon is going to be a, a great asset oh to you. Oh, my you God. You can shove that thing right in that second chest wound no. and lock it. No, you put the ID card and, and then Fuck some, your some ID page. card and shit. You have <laughs> a What kind no of combat shit. lifesaver are you? Fuck your combat life. This is common sense is what it is. You get a tampon, a fuck, a thing that clots for you, like quick clot that used to be in all the Quick clot. They don't have it anymore. I know because uh. we apparently got, and now you just got a John Rambo and take a fish. And bite the end off, mm-hmm. and bite and yourself yeah, on the yeah. So you have, a, and... you have you have you have a casualty purse in combat for you. Why wouldn't you want that? Yeah, good point. No, I, that's a good point. I'm telling you, man, it's 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 great. And we probably like we probably went over the line a little bit with that. But but that's just, there but know. there are those females that have that reputation in the military, especially with the Marines that, that yeah. come around us, and there's that stigma on them. Mm-hmm. And you know what, I'm single still and uh i'll gladly take your phone number <laughs> he will <laughs> i'm kidding i'm gonna get stabbed for that comment. yeah you probably will you probably get we'll probably get all kinds of calls yeah all, all the calls hey all the what's, calls up, what's up with that louis j is he single <laughs> oh he's single he sounds hot if, if, if you can't <laughs> he sounds see him, like my fucking recruit i'm doing he's got a beard that is just like it's like thor man it looks Amazing. Unfortunately, I have to shave this in December because uh, William. No, Kennedy, you're shaving. I have to. I have to do the sword detail. I have to get. You're gonna be in uniform. I gotta shove my fat ass Fuck. in them dress blues and just have pussy dropping all over the town, like my recruiter would say. Damn, you can fit in your uniform. <laughs> They can alter it out. I don't give a shit about going in. <laughs> I mean, it's that white belt, man. It's like you got, you know. You, you put can that adjust on. the motherfucker. Ugh. My old gunny used to tell me it's easier to lose the weight than to, than to, and I was like, you know what? It's easier to buy a 12-pack of beer and keep packing the fucker on because it ain't going nowhere. That's true. If you do have the girth, it's not going anywhere. What do you got to wear your uniform for? Uh, Staff my, Sergeant Kennedy is getting married. Staff December Sergeant 4th. Kennedy is getting married to a, a young girl named Megan. She lives, She's from out here. Um, they met on recruiting duty after his first divorce. She's a really good person, and they I never uh, met her. They Not asked yet. me. I, I met her at the ball, and she was kind of wild. She was. I had my my daughters as my ball date. Um, ex wife was with the kid, uh, my youngest son. But um, she's a good person. They asked me to kind of take the lead on the sword detail for the sword arch. And better I him to, than me because I don't know how to do the sword thing. I, I, I know how to once. draw. I learned in five minutes, and I did it. Sort of. Okay. I'm learning how to. I, I remember how to draw the sword. I don't remember what the fucking steps are for. I never did the damn sword arch. I I got married in a courthouse. Like, hey, we're getting married. Sign the paper. I bought you. Give me the receipt. Let's go. Sixty bucks in the courthouse. Shit, it was one hundred and fifty for me. Oh, it's sixty. I think it's sixty. I want, my, I want my money back. Where do you get married? Where do you get married? California. California, yeah. of course. Yeah, they got to tax everything. In the yeah. Republic of California, Stan. Mm. California. California. <sighs> It's crazy out there. <laughs> you can poop in the streets though, if you want. You can on Skid Row. Hey, yeah. I'm just wearing my my. I'm wearing my fucking NCO fucking blue pants with the right white stripe, the VFW shirt. Keep my glorious beard and my VFW cover. That's it. I mean, I I I can't fit in. My I would uniform, keep man. I would keep my beard and my blues, but you know what? Accountability. Account- <laughs> there it is again. Boom. Accountability. Hey, I want to ask Uncle Cy to uh, judge my beard tomorrow. That's a good idea. That's a yeah. solid. That's a solid yeah. one too. I want that shit on tape too, so I can have that shit forever. Well, he's gonna well, take man. thirty minutes before he gets to actually your beard. <laughs> now, he was. Uh, he served right. He was, yeah, he was in, in Vietnam. Vietnam. He's Army, right? Army. He, Vietnam. He's retired Army. Damn. He, he retired. Yeah. yeah. He's a war dog too. He is a war dog. That's why they're taking him to war dog. Yeah. He's very Christian, though. He is very Christian. And so I'm afraid good. I'm going to slip and say the F word in front of him or something, man. You yeah, think, we got to be. Them, them yeah. boys out there in the duck blind early in the morning, they got to drop the F bomb at least once or twice. I would think God. so, too. 
It's sometimes it's fucking and they're down there in the bayou too. So it's swampy, disgusting. Snakes and fucking gators, yeah. man. Isn't that where the reserves that. are for uh for us? They're down in Louisiana, right? Me. Fourth uh Fourth Mar Div. Fourth Mar Div. Fourth Mar Div, right? We have Fourth Marine recruiting for Fourth and District. Where's that at? The Bayou. In the Bayou, okay. Um, one of my good buddies, uh, Vitali, Louis Vitali. He's a warrant officer now in the Marine Corps. Ooh. All the God, all the fucking guys I deployed with that I, I remember carrying their drunk asses out the bar. They're, they're all, all officers now. They're all fucking gunny, staff sergeants, gunnies, and warrant yep. officers. And, and by the like, way, uh, Atlanta Braves just hit a two-run homer and tied it up. Nice. Just happened to, look over, just happened to look over there Go and the ball's going over, over the wall. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Well, we need to, so, I think we need to do like, we need to bring him back. Yeah. Definitely. Because he's funny as hell. Yeah. I, I, I have stories. something for you, too. I try to give a gift to everybody that comes on here. Oh. yeah. That the cup right there is. That's for you, it's all, buddy. It's all you. Oh, this cup? Yes, sir. Dope. I don't have to sport no. Fancy Corona bottle going on the street. I'm fancy now. Yeah. And you're going to be heard in like eight different countries, man. Yeah, we're all, yeah, we're all over the place right Austria, now. Austria, uh, Kuwait, right? Pakistan. Pakistan. And a couple other places. Pakistan. Yeah, in a convenience store somewhere yeah. in Pakistan. Probably right down the street. <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello, you do, you dirty, you dirty communist people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Pakistan. I mean, you got the Australia or Austria? You said Austria. Austria. Yeah. That's Austria. all the Schwarzenegger's people right there. Uh, hello, hello. Oh, I'm going to, to pump you up. Come on, get in the chopper. Come on, do it. <laughs> get in the chopper. Oh, oh man. Come on. I want to watch that movie now. Hell yeah. What yeah. movie? Predator. Oh, uh, Predator. Mm. Uh, Carl Weathers, time, man. man. They, they they do the the bro shake and they got their muscles yeah. going. Yeah. yeah, he dies in that one, right? Yes he, does. He does. yes, he does. Yes, he does. Poor bastard. Yeah, Apollo Creed. He dies in that movie, unfortunately. It's not the first movie he's died in. And uh, what's his name? Died in that movie, too. Um, Jesse the Body, Vinge, or uh, another uh, vet. Navy yeah. SEAL, right? What? what? You guys don't know Jesse the Body, Ventura? Yeah, dude. Was he a SEAL? Yeah, he was a Navy SEAL. Was he? Yeah. Was, well, you're, you're, you, you was he the one that turned Yassin governor Yassin also? Chief? He was, governor yeah, of yeah. Minnesota. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Who, y'all senior chief? Hmm? Who ya senior, Who ya senior, chief? senior chief? Oh, yeah, G.I. Jane. No, I'm good, dude. I had a bird. I just watched that the other day. G.I. Jane. Mm. She's hot. She is, Demi. She Demi is. is pretty hot. Even when she's she her head. I, I mean, <laughs> if we were in a foxhole together, we'd Lieutenant, definitely... Lieutenant, when you want... Uh, when, uh, let's see, what do you, what do you say? When, uh, when I want your opinion... I'll give uh, it to you. <laughs> he slams the door right in her face. I'll give it to you. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. When else uh, the new Top Gun movie coming out? Don't man. know. They keep pushing that shit they, back. They keep pushing. Uh, man. Why don't they just put it to freaking HBO Max like everybody else is doing? Yeah. I want to see No Time to Die, uh, that new James Bond movie. The new Halloween just came out. Uh, they last. have another one? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's, a, no, it's a no shit remake. Jamie, yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis is in it again, uh, too. It's not a remake. It's, <laughs> it's a spinoff. I guess uh, Michael Myers gets caught oh, or some get, shit. They were telling me about oh. it, and I was like, shit, I, stop. That, that's one movie that you can't spoil for no. me. E- fuck everybody else. I don't give a shit. But Michael Myers, that is the creepiest motherfucker yep. out there. I'm yeah, because Jason was ga- Jason, Jason was gangster. He walked down the street with his machete, and you see him chase you. But with Michael Myers, you could run 15 miles and, and he'll he'll around be, the corner. Yeah. He'll be right there. Like, he's, hiding behind the, he's hiding behind the tree that you're hiding behind. You go upstairs. Like, why does everybody go up <laughs> Hey, what are you doing over here? <laughs> I'm going to oh, oh, find a way now, bitch. That's the fucking Duke. That's the Sergeant Duke drill instructor of horror films. That slasher. I watched oh, uh, a TikTok this morning. It was a dude um, going to see the new movie, and he was dressed as Michael Myers. And literally the, the manager of the movie theater came out and said hey Mick, you take your mask off and he's just like just like stared him was down he and carrying a weapon and he, yeah he's carrying he was carrying a knife that's a fed, that's federal offense right there this shit was hilarious and he federal watched offense. he watched Wait. the whole movie like that damn oh new batman coming out uh isn't that with uh Patterson, edward the guy from freaking um uh harry potter oh. the english guy harry yeah, potter's yeah, batman i thought it was team edward is now uh no yeah it's yeah the, the, the guy who played yeah the sparkly the sparkly guy movie. yeah that's uh. that's Patterson he was yeah. in um he was in all the Harry Potters what well, apparently I mean I've seen Spots for it. he looks badass he just really fucking shit up yeah it's not like oh 
<laughs> where were the drugs going on? <laughs> like, what are you even talking about? Just shut up. Then you got Bane with the crab on his face. Oh, yeah, born. that's Ooh, right. I, I never got into Batman. That, I'm, a, I'm a Marvel guy. That dude and the Punisher yeah. are my two favorite because they're both just... One's a rich asshole that's just wants to fuck shit up, and then you got a Marine who's just going to fuck shit up, so... Yeah, Those that Punisher is that, that is salty. Those are my two. Just like your shirt says, Commander. Salty. Yeah. Sorry, that's yeah. Let's call you Commander, man. You're just Commander forever, man. Damn. Commander of the Commander. Scuttlebutt Podcast. Oh, the Scuttlebutt Podcast. <laughs> mm. Brought to you by. You Andrew can't say the Scuttlebutt Farm. Podcast anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 The TSP, the Scuttlebutt, because the... you know we're infringing on rights right now. <laughs> well, to that certain party, fuck you. <laughs> oh, oh no, no! It's not that. Certain. Well, maybe he is part of that certain party. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, but he, yeah. this guy called. He called man, me up. He called him up. He's like, "Hey, I've got a scuttlebutt podcast." Oh, you do? Are you listened in eight countries? Oh, you're doing really well. I think you should shut it down. Mm. <laughs> and we're like, no. Just throw it out there on the table. Let him see it. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here, pussy. Your scuttlebutt sucks. Apparently, he's uh. Active duty also. Yeah, he's army, he, right? No, he wouldn't tell no. me. Is he army? He was like, oh, I'm going to stay incognito, man. Like, I'm like, where are you stationed at? Uh, now I'm not going to tell you that either. He's, I'm like, are you on the East Coast or West Coast? Well, I'll tell you that. I'm on the East Coast. Hmm. But he was like very vague. He was like, I, yeah, I can't really. Anonymity, man. Uh, it must have been a machine gunner. <laughs> well, you got to think about it, though. The only two branches that are going to know Scuttlebutt is the Navy and the Marine Corps. So mm-hmm. it narrows it down. Yep. The yeah. East Coast, there's what the nuke base up in like the middle of New York. Uh, yep. And then there's Groton, Connecticut. And you got and Kings Virginia, Bay. Uh, Virginia down, Beach. All the way down Florida. And then you got Lejeune. And Lejeune. Oh, Lejeune. sorry. Lejeune. Hey, see, you screwed it up. <laughs> no, you know, hey. I mean, East Coast. Thank God. Hey, like my Marine Corps League, I've got this guy, and he's from. Vietnam, and he's probably in Korea, too. I don't know. He's old. Mm. No offense to the old people, but he's like, yeah, it's called Lejeune. And I'm like, he corrected me. Like, I'm the senior vice, and he corrected me, like, in front of everybody. I'm like, thanks, First Sergeant. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Good Thank, to go. Thanks. Good to Roger, go, First Sergeant. Roger that. You know, Lejeune. and what we're taught is that you take them aside, and then you berate them. <laughs> Not in front of everybody. That doesn't make sense, though. Mass punishment's a real thing. Let's make you look like a retard in front of everybody. Accountability. Yeah, accountability. accountability. Right Let me there. call you right out. Accountability. Yeah, get your hands out of your pockets. Ooh, wow, that yeah. nasty thing. Why? My hands are cold. Chesty Puller said it's okay. <laughs> your hands are cold and your pockets are warm. You're stupid. That's what Chesty Puller said. Think harder, not smarter. And then he also said, take me to the Briggs and see the Royal Marines. Schuler was there. Hey, I, was, I never went to the Brig, but I did get NJP. I did get arrested, so... Did you get NJ? Oh, you just got the. I got the slap the on the slap wrist. Slap on the wrist. Sixty one oh five. The, the great paper. Sorry for your loss. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> One of my good buddies, uh, he missed ship's movement, and they threw him in the brig for. Oh, that's time. Article eighty seven. Mm, it was bad, mm. and they gave him bread and water. You know, it's only every other day. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. You know, you know what he does now for a living? He can be constipated Janitor. for life. He's a homicide detective in Chicago. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> went from the brig to that's a turn of events right there yeah, yeah. The j- that, that just proves you jail changes people yeah yeah j- I spent remember a couple like a month jail. or two ago that chicago police officer that was shot and killed yeah his son is also a chicago police officer his son was in that car with that female police officer that was shot no way he put two rounds into that oh yeah to that I dude. About that. damn yeah, there was three police officers in that car that day. The girl that was murdered, uh, his other partner, took a bullet in the head. He's still in the hospital. The, they can't get the, remove the bullet out of his head. Yeah. And my buddy's son. Damn. Damn. It's rough. Yes. Chicago's fucked up, man. Well, you that's, ready why to, they, that's why they call it Chirac. You ready Chirac. to eat, big dog? Yeah, I'm getting hungry, man. Yeah, me you, too. You hungry, Lou? Sure. And then, I'll take you, yeah. and then I'll take you home, and you're my I'm going to go pick this guy Whoa. up at the airport. Mm, take me home, Are you going to suck his dick? Uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> I, I like I vagina. I no, no. I do. I like vagina. I'm not gay, but $20 is $20. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that on a shirt somewhere It's not in gay. Florida? It's not gay if you're underway. Uh, you I haven't heard that in a long do you time. Have, do you have boot bands on? No, not at all. <laughs> it's not gay if we got boot bands on. <laughs> Uh, well, hey, Louis, Jay, thank Louis, you so yeah, much, thanks man. Thanks for coming out, man. We definitely uh, need to have you guys. on because you are fucking by far the funniest motherfucker that we've had on this this podcast. 
I'm always available. Donnie O'Malley, yeah. if uh, you are crazy if you don't hire this guy. Who's yeah. Donnie O'Malley? Donnie O'Malley. He's the founder of Vet TV. And Irreverent uh, Warriors. Irreverent Warriors. And he's a classy broad. And, yes. Uh, yes, he is. He's funny as shit. And I have a lot of good ideas that he can utilize on his show. And so. he is a, he's a grunt. He's have a you good. reached out to him? I have not. I have not reached out to him. I didn't I give you his? I gave you his email, didn't I? Uh, I think you, me and him are Facebook friends. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, it took me six months to become friends with Donnie. Um, but, no, if you're out there, Donnie... You're a pogue. Oh. Call me, I dare you. 760. Ugh. Eat my ass. Oh, my God, Donnie. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. He's just, he's had too much, he's had too much air today. He's not had too much air today. I love you, Donnie. You're a great guy, and no, I have not reached out to him at all. Um, but if he does listen, that's something that'd be fun to do. Don't worry. I, I send I send Donnie the podcast. It's not so. just it's not just making fun of uh, you do send them it. Veterans. No, I send I send uh, this podcast to Adam Bird. Uh, thank you, Adam, uh, another member of our post. He Heroes Media Group. I send it to Daniel Rocco, a devoted to a soldier. Oscar Mike Radio, Travis mm. Parrington, and Travis, by the way, loves like he gave us some some pointers, and yeah. he loves our shit now. And Brian Walker loves our shit too. Yeah. Uh, Travis said he wants to revisit after six months because we gave him like the very first one or two episodes. And he's like, You're, you got good content, but, uh, you know, you get, and he gave some pointers like, and he's like, well, take a listen again yeah. in six months and see, see where you're at. We've got that. to, uh, yeah, we, we've, we've never done this before, we're gonna man. Be, we just uh, bought some equipment. Are we going to be talking. on with him like yeah. next Sunday? Something like that. The 20 23rd, right? Third? Yeah. I think it's the 23rd. All right. Well, how's Commander? that, go? that going to work? Can we do that here or are we going to do it? I don't know. I don't know. I'll call him. I'll find out. Yeah, but let's go do. eat. And thank you, Louis All J. Right. Thanks, Louis. Yes. Thank you, guys. And Enjoy you're your an cup. amazing, amazing individual. Huh. Thank you. And thank you for your service, man. You're right. Thank you. Good night, people.